Hello Yoda Tech. I am Chef Yoda 4x4 and with the help yesterday of Richard aka Red Death 5 on Yoda Tech, I uh, had him, he did a little welding for me on the um, roof rack, my Confer roof rack. Uh, you'll see pictures of all that where the tabs go and I have another video of the welding so I'll leave that to that portion. Um, I actually got into yesterday uh, while he was grinding down the welds and stuff like that, I got in here and installed my soft touch pilot LED interrupter switches. Um, I show how I wired them, how I separated them, and then I marked them so that I can easily just pull the radio bezel off and pop, pop, and pull all three switches free of their wiring and then get them right back on in the same place. I used red, white, and black. Red for power out to the relay, um, white for the ignition power, and black for the ground. So they all went to a common ground um, on the frame there of the um, whole bracket that holds the stereo and much of the uh, climate stuff uh, together. And I had recently also installed this gauge, which is the Air Zenith OB2 um, compressor digital gauge so it measures voltage and um air and it's blue and red and i thought well you know they just happen to be blue and red these switches and i already had one for my um, compressor and so i basically i moved the compressor i'll show that in a minute i moved that switch but uh, i made these all off-road switches this one will be the forward facing 20 inch and forward facing roof rack lights which will also be spot two of those and they're seven inch um, you'll see in the pictures what they look like, where they'll be mounted and all that. The center one will be left <clears throat> or driver side and passenger side facing lights. So out in the, you know, into the great beyond that you might be going either way. And, you know, it'll help to light that up as well and see that um, clearly. And then reverse. And I wanted them all separately because, I mean, I included these two on one so that you know, I'd rather have driver and passenger separate as well but that's adding another switch it got tr thin here and i figured i'd really like to have all three off-road light switches all right here uh, my rock light switches are all by remote so i figured you know i want to keep them the same and get another one uh, another couple of those switches uh i'll show you that i also got a three switch panel that comes with all three switches in a square, uh, pretty much square shaped panel. Um, and I just, uh, Richard was in here with me. Everybody's like, well, put it here or put it there. And honestly, it is, it's really difficult in this truck, uh, to find a space, uh, to put that because I have cruise control and, you know, the clutch start cancels over here and there's really not much space here. Um, in fact, it wouldn't really fit there. Um, although I would have liked that spot. But uh, whatever. There's just no other places besides maybe this one where I'm reaching, what, three feet over there to turn on my off-road lights. Um, so I put them here. Um, you'll see, like I said in the pictures, how I did it pretty cleanly and everything is all wrapped up and kind of joined together. Because these any, any switch you add that has illumination is going to have a ground, uh, which most toggles don't if they're not illuminated. It's going to have a ground, and then it'll have the other obvious ones, which are ignition-powered, so that uh, the switch doesn't work unless the ignition is turned on. And then an out power, which sends the uh, the small zap to the relay to turn to flip the gate and open the relay and turn on your lights or your compressor or whatever it is you're running. So, I ran the ignition uh, power off the defog circuit, and all of them... Uh, to that one wire, uh, a larger wire, which I ran to that and soldered in up uh, over by the kick panel. Then I ran um, my compressor switch, which, which I'll show you in a minute, was already run. So I basically changed the colors of the wires um, from where I had them on quick disconnects as well. And to have them all in the proper colors um, as far as knowing which every one, uh, which every wire whichever wire is for what and um so anyway here are the red for off and blue for on um and my radio is also blue so that's another reason okay uh this is my 
air zenith, like I said, that shows voltage and, and uh, air pressure. So these are the soft touch switches. You can see this one is already hooked up to my floodlight spotlight combination. Um, uh, 20 inch light bar. So it's about, you know, a little over a third spot and then the rest are floods on each side. Okay, this will be the center, or uh, one's facing outwards, obviously that's the rear. So, I kept them in that order for a purpose as well. So, um, when you turn them on, they're blue. So, you know, it's pretty clear when I'm wheeling or whatever and I have them on, I know they're on. Alright, and plus, they're bright as hell, these lights, so. <laughs> so, there we go. And then, they turn off very easily just by barely touching it all. All right, so those will be going to the others. They're already wired, pre-wired to the um, grommet to run to my relays, um, which I will then run from the relay up through, up my A pillar, and then through here to a hole that is right about, eh, I'm guessing it's right about here, uh, where the previous owner had a, I can feel it right there, where the previous owner had a CB antenna. Okay, so um, those are my LED soft touch switches for my off-road lights, and uh, I hope the pictures and everything are helpful for people that are considering doing this. And here's the compa rack that the off-road lights will be going on the roof, eight of them. Forward are the only one spot, and then reverse and sides to each will all be flood. All right. So that's that, and then uh, really quickly, the compressor, I moved the switch to here. Um, I a couple times, more than once, would turn on the function of the radio and hit that switch and turn my compressor on. I'm like, what the? You know, so I don't know. I just thought it might be good to put it here. It's not so much affected by moisture or anything else. I don't, you know, I'm not going to be you know, pouring drinks in here or using it as a cooler, so... I just open this, and it's got the safety switch so that my compressor isn't easily turned on or you drop something or whatever. It's not going to just turn on. So you just flip the carbon panel, and and you have air. Okay, so as I do that, my digital gauge, um, try to make it so you can see, we'll start to you know, rise and obviously show you by the dial as well as you're getting higher. So that's been working really well as well. Uh, I'm really pleased with the uh, Air Zenith compressor so far. So good. I've used it quite a few times. Um, helped someone the other day on the side of the road um, blow up their tire. Their spare tire was flat and I stopped on the freeway and was able to help them out. It was really cool. I meant to get a video of that, but what are you going to do? <laughs> All right, guys, um, that's it. So if you have any questions, post them up, and I'll be glad to answer them. And go Toyota.